Hello and welcome or welcome back. Today is going to be part two of my declutter series. I'm going to break this up into several parts because I do have quite a bit to go through. Um, and yeah, uh, I did eyeshadow palettes. That was the first part of this. So if you missed that, if you missed that and you would like to see it, um, it will be on my channel. You can just go to my channel or I'll leave it in the cards above. Um, so yeah, let's talk about eyes. So I have a lot of eye products besides eyeshadow palettes. Um, I mentioned my singles and my palette video and then I also have a bunch of eyeliners, liquid shadows, and mascaras. So let's talk about it. Um, I did declutter one single eyeshadow and that was um, Coconut from Colourpop. It was just getting really dried out and um, I just, I think I've had it for too long so I just went ahead and said goodbye to that but here we go. Here's the rest of it. So I have a new Colourpop um, Super Shock Shadow. Let me bring it further over. There we go. This is in the shade Sure Thing, and this was released with their new teal palette. There go. Really beautiful. Uh, let me turn the light. Hold on. Better and not worse, anyway. I'm going to keep that for sure. I also have this trio from Kaja. This is the Beauty Bento Trio in Poppy Champagne. I got this off BoxyCharm for pretty inexpensive. So I really like it. It's a very nice trio. There we go. Very nice, very, very nice. That's not going anywhere, neither is this. This is the Makeup Forever Starlit Loose Eyeshadow in 13, I guess. I I have no idea what the shade is, but it's just, oh, it's so good. It's so stunning. I love this on the inner corner, on the lid. It's just such a beautiful color. And then I have some of these Dose of Colors Block Party eyeshadows, which I've also gotten for cheap off of BoxyCharm. I have Night Sky. Which is just gorgeous. I have Wild and Free, which is my newest one. This one takes a little bit of building up, but it's worth it. So pretty. These are all gorgeous. Not going anywhere. Teal me more. Also, this one and the next one are a little bit um, effed up. They came broken, so I had to fix them. Teal me more is my favorite. But if you know me, that's not a shock. And then Jackpot, which definitely got a little fucked up. Still gorgeous though. I made a joke to my husband because the first two I ordered were Jackpot and Teal Me More. And um, I, I made a joke about how I think I understand why uh, BoxyCharm is selling them for so cheap because they come broken every time. And then uh, the next two I ordered didn't come broken. Go figure. Um, okay, I have this, I have two uh, cream gel colors from ColourPop. I have Piggy Bank and I have Teaspoon. 
Um, these are good. Like if you want to try the cream gel colors from ColourPop, they are pretty good, but um, I just don't reach for them. I don't really do potted eyeliners. I do pencils um, and I keep forgetting to reach for these. Also, these are old and starting to dry out. So these are gonna go in the trash. And then I have this loose shadow from Sugar Pill. This is in the shade Polar. And it's very pretty. Um, but I thought it was going to be a lot more teal. I don't know. Um, like, it's very pretty. But... I don't use it like ever. I don't think I've used it at all. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on, see if somebody else will want it. Um, let me grab a towel. Okay, but those are my singles. Now let's talk about my liquid eyeshadows. <laughs> I guess these are also technically uh, single eyeshadows. So first one is from Eloise, I think is how you say it. And this is Pure Gold. I got this in a BoxyCharm uh, a couple months back, a few months back, I don't even know anymore. But this is gorgeous. It's such an interesting gold too. It's not like a real yellow gold, it's almost like rose gold. Shadow, come on. But that's stunning, that's not going anywhere. Um, let's talk about my Stila's. Okay, that one's not dried out. This is the one in Mythical. It's like a purpley pink blue iridescent thing. Then I've got Spellbound. which is just a deeper purple. That's not going anywhere. Neither is Mystic. <laughs> Neither is Mystic. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I do want to compare real quick. So I have this liquid eyeshadow from Cover FX. This is in the shade Amethyst. So, I'm going to compare it to the Stila. You can see that, right? I hope so. Um, hmm. They're both beautiful in their own way. Um, but honestly, I think I would use the cover effects more. Oops. Um, so, I'm going to get that away. I don't think I've ever really used it anyway. And then I have two of these Shimmer and Glows. This one is in Jezebel. It's just a stunning rose gold. Beautiful. And then I also have Twig. Just like a copper, like a deep copper. I got these on sale at TJ Maxx. I got all my Stila's on sale at TJ Maxx, actually. I don't think I've ever used Twig. Hmm. I like it, though. Like, it's really red and, like, ruddy and... I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang on to it for a little longer. And then I'll make a decision later. Okay, I have a bunch of e.l.f. liquid eyeshadows. This is 24k gold. Just a really pretty shimmery, glittery gold. Um, this is Ocean Eyes. I love the shade of blue, but it's so patchy. I don't know if you can see that. And it's not any better on the eyes. 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. This is the shade Mermaid Shimmy. This one is gorgeous. Love that one. Oh, this is my newest one. This is Big Dipper. Not going anywhere. Um, Pinky Swear. It's just like light baby pink. I think I even prefer these over the Stila, to be perfectly honest. They're less expensive, and I think they're just overall like a better formula, if I'm perfectly honest. This is Supernova. Stunning. Oh, this is probably like my absolute favorite. This is Dirty Martini. Really nice pigmentation, very glittery, very shiny. Um, this is Disco Queen. I just think e.l.f. has a great liquid eyeshadow formula. Also, if you missed out on the Jay Kissa and um, e.l.f. collab, if you wanted the liquid eyeshadow, um, this is a dupe for the white side of that. It's basically the same thing. Um, they're both sheer white liquid eyeshadows. This one is bling bling. It's the same consistency as uh, the gold. It's just very um, kind of flaky and glittery and not really like super opaque. But I don't mind that. This is purple rain. I'm going to swatch it next to the other purple I've got. Um, that one's a lot deeper. You know, I like them both. I'm going to keep them. And then lastly, we have Aurora, which is so gorgeous. It's this beautiful emerald green. Look at that. Not going anywhere. Absolutely not. And then I have some matte liquid eyeshadows. I actually have two of one of the colors, Nude Linen. I'm going to go ahead and pass one on. I thought I was going to use it more than I have. Um, but I don't even know if they sell these anymore. The dark one is Brown Cashmere. These are so nice though. I have used these by themselves on top of powder. Um, just, uh, so many ways and they are just fantastic. This one is Blushing Rose. And then Nude Linen. Which is basically my skin tone. Just great. Wonderful, wonderful eyeshadows. And I hope they are planning on bringing them back if they are not selling them currently. This is the Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold, also from e.l.f. It's really pretty. Do I need it though? I have the other one, the Stila one in Jezebel. I'm going to go ahead and pass this on. Um, I prefer the formula. Um, that formula is not so good. I don't know if they still sell that particular formula from e.l.f., but um, the new one is definitely much better. And then this is not going anywhere. This is the e.l.f. and J. Kissa collab uh, liquid eyeshadow they did. gorgeous. I, I can't get rid of that. And then I have a couple from Wet n Wild. I have the Wet n Wild, let's see, are these both liquid catsuit? No. 
the liquid cat suit in when stars align and this is like a duo chrome The only negative I will say is that you do have to layer this one up, but it layers pretty nice. Um, but also I can tell this is getting kind of chunky and dried out, like it's starting to get kind of thick. Um, it used to be, a, I feel like it used to be liquidier, more liquid, more liquidy. What's the right word? I don't know. Um, I've also had this one for a very long time. It's probably well past expired, so I'll go ahead and say goodbye. This is from the Fantasy Makers collection. This is in the shade Phantom. And this is so unbelievable. Oh my God, can you see that? It's got these like cool toned purple glitters that like they it doesn't show up in the tube at all like or hardly at all. I didn't notice them till I like put it on my eyes for the first time. That's when they really shine. Like oh, it's so pretty. And that's fairly new, so I'm going to hang on to that. Let's talk about some eyeliners. So, I got my Urban Decay Perversion and I love Perversion from Urban Decay. It's right there. Um, I'm torn because this is getting dried out. I've had to um, sharpen it quite a bit just to get to the parts that aren't like, totally dried out. Um, I'm going to finish it up. And then I've got a couple other black eyeliners I need to use. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is Earthquake. It's just a classic brown eyeliner. Can't go wrong. Um, I think this is in my last declutter. I, I just I felt like I needed to try it again, and I still don't like it. I love the color, don't like the formula. So goodbye for good this time. This is Urban Decay's main line. Gorgeous matte teal. This is a new one. This is from NYX and this is a shade Chill Blue. It's a lot more sheer than I thought it was going to be, but I love the tone of blue and it's a great formula, so I'm not going to get rid of it. This is Obsidian from NYX. This is the Faux Black formula. It's okay. I mean, Truthfully, I just need to repurchase Sabbath from Urban Decay because that's like my holy grail navy blue eyeliner. So I'm going to get rid of that and just buy the one I know I like. This is also from Marc Jacobs. Oh, that's very dried out. This is the shade. Oh my god, where's the shade name? You know what, it doesn't even matter because it's dried out and it's going in the trash. I'm gonna also toss this one. This one's just very old. This is from NYX, the Faux White in Linen. Really nice color, but very old. Um, a NYX Jumbo Pencil. This is a white, like, it works, so I'll keep it. Not, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> Honestly, I don't like this formula. It's sticky. I don't like it. And I have a white eyeliner that I prefer. The LA Girls eyeliners. Oh my god, why did I stay away from these for so long? This is the Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliner. And this is the shade Marshmallow. So, so nice. I also have a white eyeshadow base now, so I don't need that. This is also from LA Girl. This is the one in Lavender. I don't even know if you can see that, but it's there. I love these pastel ones. I'll go ahead and swatch the rest for you. Did I get 
get the yellow? No, I didn't. I got a different yellow. Never mind. I think they had one in their neon collection, and I didn't feel like I needed both of the yellows. Oh, and uh, powder blue, baby pink, and what are you called? Magic Mint are these last three from this collection that I own. Really beautiful. And um, baby pink works in the liner for what I was using, like um, NYX's linen for, so I don't really need linen. Um, this is also LA Girl. This is Black Amethyst. This is just like their regular um, pencil liners. And it's like a black, but with a purple shift, like purple glitter. I don't know if you can see that. This is from NYX. This is one of their slide on liners in gunmetal. It's just a gunmetal gray. I'll move this down here so I have to keep reaching. Over, this is from Urban Decay. This is Alkaline. Nice berry eyeliner. Um, the NYX Faux Blacks in Oxblood. Gorgeous red. Love it. Um, LA Girl Royal Blue. Beautiful, shiny blue. Um, this is Cuff from Urban Decay. Um, it's just a silver, but like I never use it and it's getting really old, so I'm gonna toss it. And then I have No Place to Swatch. This is Smoke from Urban Decay. Good gray eyeliner. Everybody needs a gray eyeliner, I think. Uh, the NYX Epic Wear in Perfect Brown, I think. Brown Perfection. Close enough. Oh, this is the e.l.f. Jaquissa eyeliner. Oh no, it's all dried out. Okay, well... That's a shame. Okay, that one's gonna go. This is new to me. This is from Tint. This is the Haze Smoky Eye Pencil in the shade Forest. And I actually really like this. It's a nice deep green. It's not like a super bright green, um, but it's still very obviously like green. But I love it. It's very creamy, very nice. Stays in the waterline great. Um, this is the e.l.f. or not e.l.f. Um, NYX Epic Wear Liner in All Time Olive. Just an olive -y green eyeliner. Get out, please. Gonna ruin my setup. Oh, and I also have this white eyeliner. I don't like it as much as the LA Girl, but it also works. So, i gonna keep that. That's from Beauty Creations. This is one of the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liners. This is actually a lip liner, but I use it on my eyes. This is in the shade Pop. Look at that. Whew. Neon. And I have this NYX liner in Pink Spirit, which is a little bit more cool toned than the LA Girl. But I like them both. I'm gonna keep them for now. This is Urban Decay's Empire. This is also gorgeous. I just need to repurchase my favorite um, Urban Decay liners because this is also extremely old, but it's not dried out. So I'm gonna keep it for now. This is Out of the Blue from Mark Jacobs. Love a good cobalt. Cobalt, right? I don't know. Turquoise Storm from NYX. It's a good dupe for Deep End from Urban Decay. If you're on a budget and you love that one. 
And then this is a black liner from LA Girl that I like. And this is very black. And it is very black. This is actually, I think, better than Urban Decay Perversion. Dare I say it? I, I think this one stays better. It has better lasting power, especially in the waterline. I just overall think this formula works better for what I use Perversion for, so I don't think I'll be going back to Perversion. I don't know who I am anymore. But there you have it. There's my eye products. Oh, and mascaras. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so you need to go. I don't know why you're in here. Um, I have, actually, I think these are all pretty good. I have a couple of the e.l.f. J. Kissa mascaras. These are probably very old and need to go, but I can't bear to part with them. Um, this Lash Extending Mascara from e.l.f. Um, it's almost gone. I'm just going to finish it up. And the Tarte Man Eater Mascara I'm going to keep. And then these two are colored mascaras from Maybelline that I actually really like. I have the shades. What are you called? Oh, God. Can you see me? I hope not. Black Cherry and Ultraviolet. And I actually really like these. I found them at TJ Maxx. Um, and I think I have the blue one, too. Did I get the black one? I don't think I did. But I like these. But also, if you're looking for good and expensive mascaras, personally, e.l.f. has my favorite formulas. Um, they just work really well for my lashes. So, yeah. And they're inexpensive. So, check them out. But, um... Yeah. Let's see if I can get it. Shall I put everything away for you? Let's do it. You know what, I'm actually going to get rid of this Marc Jacobs one too because I bought that and the other purple one around the same time and this one's also feeling a bit dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. And you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pat, uh, throw this in the garbage because it's old as hell and it's drying out real bad so I'm just going to get rid of it. I have a black liner. Okay, so I kind of separated these. So I got blues, greens, blacks, and then purples, pinks, warmer colors, cooler colors over here. All my eyeshadows and then my mascaras. I'm very happy with that. I like that I fit everything down here now. Um, it doesn't feel like I got rid of a lot, but I, I got rid of enough. I got rid of enough. Um... So yeah, that is the end of this part. Stay tuned for part three. Um, I don't know what we're going to declutter next, but stay tuned all the same. See you there.